Okay, writing this out in pseudocode, uh, let's go ahead and define first a function that is going to just take a number and check if it is prime. So define is prime. That will take some number n. We're going to check that number against all possible integer divisors, starting with 2. So let's define divisor is equal to 2. And then open up a while loop. So while divisor, oops. is less than our number. In fact, we don't need less than our number, but our number over two, since nothing that is greater than half of our number is going to be a valid divisor. For each divisor, check whether or not it is an allowed um, <clears throat> factor. We can check that most easily by looking for the modulus. If divisor modulus n is equal to zero, well then we can go ahead and return false. This number is not prime. And then after checking each divisor, we go ahead and we increase that divisor by one. If every divisor checks out and we never return false, then the number must be prime. We return true. Okay. That is the function that we're going to use in order to solve this problem, where we're looking for every possible pair of twin primes, that is, a pair of prime numbers that differs by two, um, going up to a thousand. Well, let's go ahead and simply write, we're going to start off, uh, what? Our first prime number is 2, and so we're going to say while the number that we're checking is less than 1,000, if is prime of x and is prime of x plus 2. This checks that each of these statements is true. The number that we're looking at is a prime number, and the number that has a value 2 greater than our number is a prime number. Then we're going to go ahead and print and I'm going to go ahead and be a little lazy with my code here, x and x plus 2. And then after doing that, x plus equals 1. This is going to start us out with our first prime number, x equals 2, though not our first uh, twin prime and then scan through everything between x equals 2 and x equals 1,000, checking every possible pair and printing out the valid ones.